I'm Anastasia Chatska, a fashion designer with over 20 years of experience and a sewing educator. And I'm really excited you're here to share another sewing adventure with me today. Welcome to Sewing Anastasia, and today I'm gonna go over how to hem a knit dress or a shirt or whatever it is that you have that's made of knit fabric. Because we are gonna use totally different techniques when we're hemming the knit fabric than we are with the woven fabric. And I've been getting a ton of requests on how do I hem a knit dress? Well, follow along and I'm gonna show you. If you're not already a subscriber to Sewing Anastasia, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when all the new videos come out. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for watching Sewing Anastasia and following me along on my sewing adventures. Supplies for hemming your knit project are super simple. You're going to need a fabric marking tool. You're going to need some matching thread. You're also going to need your scissors and you're going to need a ruler. My dress is really long and we're gonna make it short, so I'm using a yardstick. And you're also gonna need a garment that you need to make shorter. And this one is so long and we are gonna shorten it up. Before we start the project, I wanted to share with you something from my Vintage Notions collection. And it is a skirt marking ruler from 1953. Check out how cool it is. It has all these little notches in it so that way it's easier to mark your hem when you're going all the way around your skirt. And you would use this while you're actually wearing the garment and hopefully you have someone else helping you so that way they can be on the ground and marking your skirt. So if you come across one of these bizarre looking rulers, make sure you pick it up because they're super handy to use when hemming garments. The first thing you need to do is put on your garment and determine how long or short you would like it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on this dress and we're gonna pin it up. This is the dress on me right now and it is clearly not very flattering and I am not really loving how this looks on me, but I love the pink, I love the sleeves. So I think if I hem it and make it shorter, it'll be super cute and it's a knit fabric. So continue with me and I'm gonna show you how to hem a knit fabric. Now grab your marking tool and you're gonna mark how long or short you would like your garment. Now I want mine right at the tip of my fingers because I want it short because I'm short so I like things shorter. So I'm going to put my hand at my side and then I'm gonna take my marking pen and I'm just gonna mark right below my finger. And now I know that's where I want it hemmed to. All you really need to do is mark one spot because we're going to measure the rest out to make sure we have a nice even hem. You also want to keep in mind if you've got a bootylicious booty, you're going to have to leave the back of your garment a little longer if it's a skirt or a dress. But booty's not so big, so I'm going to make it even all the way around. Now that we have our mark on the dress, grab your marking pen and your ruler and we're going to put some more marks on the dress so we know exactly where to cut off the fabric at. So my blue mark is at 25, so when I'm measuring from the bottom up, I want to mark 24 all the way around my dress so that way I have an inch hem. So make sure you have your ruler going all the way down to the hem so that way you're measuring from the bottom up. Now I'm going to mark all the way around my hem so that way we can cut it off. Now that we have it all marked, grab your scissors and let's follow that dotted line and cut off that extra fabric. I'm going to carefully snip into the fabric and I'm just cutting through one layer at a time because it's very possible that the back and the front are not going to match up like that. Now that I have that extra fabric cut off, it feels so much better. Like I'm actually gonna wear this dress. So I left an inch for my hem. You could have left a half inch, you could have left a quarter. What we're gonna do is go over to the iron and we're gonna iron up our seam allowance and then we will go over to the sewing machine. My hem is all ironed up and we are ready to sew this down. The cool thing about knit fabric is that they don't fray but we still want our garment to look nice and finished. If you want, you could search the inside of your garment hem, but you don't have to. And I'm not going to, because I'm going to be using a zigzag stitch to finish the edge of my hem, so I'm going to be encasing that raw edge with the zigzag stitch. But a zigzag stitch is not the only way you can hem a knit. You can use the overlock stitch on your sewing machine, or if you have a cover stitch machine, you could totally use the cover stitch on your knit. Because if you look at the bottom of your t-shirts, they are 
are all cover stitch. The cover stitch allows the fabric to still stretch, but gives it a nice finished edge. And if you just have a regular old sewing machine, the best thing you can do is zigzag your fabric's hem, so that way it still stretches when you're wearing it. If you use a straight stitch in your hem of a knit fabric and you go to pull it, it's probably going to pop. And we don't want that. We don't want you falling apart. That's why my preferred way to hem a knit is with a zigzag. Also, make sure you're using an all-purpose needle or a ballpoint needle. A ballpoint needle is for sewing knit fabric, and you can get a ballpoint needle for any sewing machine. So let's hem it up. I have my zigzag stitch selected, and I want to make sure when I'm placing my fabric in the machine that my zigzag stitch is going to cover this raw edge. I want the zigzag stitch to go on the hem, on the dress, on the hem, on the dress, so that way it creates a really nice finished look on the inside. When you get to the end, back stitch or fix and cut. We finished it. That was so easy. I love using the zigzag method because it finishes the edge even though we don't have to. So it gives it a nice clean edge and it hems our knit fabric. And it allows it to stretch. Bing, bang, boom. So many things done in one stitch. A zigzag stitch looks nice on the outside and it looks great on the inside as well. And those little blue marks will come off when we wash the garment. And watch the stretch. No popping at all. Now it's time to try on the dress and check out what it looks like shorter. Tailoring and having things can do amazing things for your body with proportion. So make sure you learn how to hem your clothes because it's so easy. The dress is hemmed. Check it out. I feel so much better in this dress. I don't feel like I'm in a giant nightgown from the 70s anymore. Now I feel like I can rock this dress and just hang out in it every day, wherever. And it looks great with my soccer shoes. Thanks so much for watching Sew Anastasia today. If you have any questions on hemming a knit, leave it down below and I'll get back with you as soon as I can. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, give it some applause, and let me know what your favorite part of the video was down below in the comments. And if you have something or you have an awesome creative project that you've just finished, make sure you tag me in it on Instagram or DM me some photos so I can share it with everyone. I would love to keep everyone inspired and creative. And if you don't follow me on Facebook or Instagram or TikTok, make sure you follow me so that way we can stay connected. I'm also now teaching virtual sewing lessons and sewing lessons in person. So join a sewing class and sign up at SewAnastasia.com. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.